Hey, hi guys, this is Sudeep here and hope you're doing great. And today I will be talking about live share. Now what will be happening, most probably you will be working from home right now as there is a coronavirus outbreak. So everyone is working from home and you may be in some problem where you need a help from your colleague or anybody who can help you out and you are really stuck but making a call won't just help you you need to share your editor as well so that he can tell you which line and or where you are making a mistake or where needs to be changed so live share comes to rescue in this situation now live share is extension which is available uh, for visual studio code so first let's open the marketplace and the shortcut for that is control shift x so we'll quickly open the extension inside this extension marketplace search for share now instead of when you search for share the first option you get is live share now this live share is gonna help you to share your visual studio editor itself however you may be thinking while you are sharing you need to chat with your colleague so the second option you need is live share chat however audio will be even better if you can make an audio call so yeah you also have live share audio now this gives you to share editor share uh, chat with a user and also audio now all these three you don't require to install separately there is one extension that is live share extension packs which gonna install everything for the you so you have live share live share chat and live share audio all three installed right at one place so once you install it you can just go through the documentation if you require else i'm going to tell it to you anyways so once it's been installed it will ask you to restart or reboot if you don't have the proper extensions installed once it's been done you can go to your files now you see uh, there is an option of live share over here and also here once you have installed your live share it does ask you to log in using a id now it does allow you to log in using github or microsoft account only so right now i have logged in using my github account so it does show sridipo here and also here so this uh this is uh once you logged in it will be shown here now uh when you start a session right so you can start a session using start collaboration session or read collaboration session otherwise you can even join a session in which case uh, someone has shared a link with you so for now we're gonna start our session a collaborative session before that make sure you are logged in now i go here i click on start collaborative session and you see here it is starting a live session here so wait for some time it's gonna start yeah now it's been started and you do see invitation link over here has been copied to your clipboard okay so i'm going to copy it again and close it now you can share this link with any of your colleagues who want you to be uh, working with you so now if you see the icon has been changed to busy because you are right now live uh what i go i directly go and so this was my old session sorry for that um, I open Chrome browser and here I enter the URL this URL was copied from the once the session has started okay now this does give you option to open a application however I don't want to start it in the application I want to start in the browser so if you don't have an application no problem you can preview it from your browser itself that's cool right so you don't require to even have visual studio code on your machine right now just preview it from your browser itself so it's starting once it's loaded it will have all the editor sidebar terminals everything will be available in the editor uh, browser window itself see you have your sidebar you have your editor you do even have your terminal if you see here you do get option to view terminals okay so it does ask you to sign now if you have a github account or uh, microsoft account you can sign in or as a guest only you can uh, be there so right now i'm just joining as a guest so i say guest user 
so it's signing in as a guest user now here the person who has sharing who has started the collaboration session will get an option to accept or reject the request coming in so once that is been connected and linked you will see the option comes to the user so it's still not here yeah it's waiting for approval now where it says this you get an option requested to join the collaborative session you can accept it or you can always accept anonymous it depends on you who you want to share so i just accept it and now you see the magic all the files which have been shown here are now available over here you see yeah the file which right now i am working so it's app.js right This is app.js and user will see the same file app.js if i go down so yeah it's moving down now it is showing this cursor says this is the user who is joined uh, that is sridip who is working right now so my cursor is over here then it will go here for the user right I hope till here it's good and everyone understand. Now it is showing who has participated. The, there is only one guest user who has participated right now, so it is showing guest user. So this is showing the participant over here. So this is the green color icon shows that's me, and the cursor is being shown here. Now suppose the user is somewhere at the top. Okay, however I want user means the guest user has taken it to the top and as owner of this collaborative session i want everyone to focus on my cursor only so there is an option called as focus participants so request other participant to follow you so when i click here the other users will be directly taken a focus over here similarly if my guest user is hovering somewhere else or he has clicked somewhere else he can do the same he can ask other to follow him so when he does that it will be shown over here that guest where the guest users has guest users user focused your attention so right so similar in both way it works now next thing i want to chat so the option is the chat window now i quickly open the chat window i have closed it last time so i'll just open the chat window I hope there is some problem. Hmm. Yeah. Now the chat window is open. So it is going to show what are the chats done between the users and the guest users, right? So all the chats will be shown over here. And similarly, if you want to make a call, you have option over here to start or join a audio call so this will be like two way uh, pair programming for you from work when you are working from home right i hope this too helps you and now the last thing that i want to say here is the uh, editor right now is in yellow color right so i will show by default the editor is not always yellow color so whenever I start an editor and if I'm not sharing through that editor, the editor must be by default black color. It's the, so it will be based on your theme. Okay. So if I'm not sharing, it will be black. In the case, if I'm sharing, I want to know the difference between the editor which has been shared and the editor which has not been shared then I have to change the color. So the option is you can open your command palette by using F1. So I'll just open my command palette and you uh, type peacock. Now when you type peacock, you, you will see change live share guest and change live share host. Now when you click over here, you do get an option to change the colors. Now it's angular red, azure blue, javascript yellow and all this color. Whichever you want, you can keep 
and the same will be available when you share your screen so i keep it as blue right so this will be happening only when you are sharing so your sharing color can be separate and your viewing color can be separate so suppose you want to keep a favorite color for your editor so you can just go here and you can change your favorite color that will be something different so while sharing it will be different and when you are uh, want your favorite color to be there then it will be different now that's it for live share now let's end the session at the end so there is option to stop collaboration session and your session will be ended once the session has been ended the user who were on the sessions will get a message that host has ended the collaboration session and your folder will be closed that's it so this helps you when you are working from home and need your colleagues to work with you i hope this is really helpful for you and see you in next video till then code whatever you want have a nice day bye